Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Recipe Tuesday. This morning, I want to talk about two products that are made by the same company. Not only the two products, but also two, maybe three things that you could take um, and do with them, and even in a leftover sense. So to get started, um, the first one is this roast beef au jus uh, Hormel pot roast. This was highly recommended by Jan. Jan from New York City saves money. So not long after she had told me about it, I had to do some grocery shopping, so I went and bought it. It is easily a step across to what you would make if you were doing your own pot roast. The only difference is you don't have to wait the length of time in order to cook it. Um, that's one item. The second one, also recommended by Jan, is this turkey breast and gravy. So with the beef roast, what I did is I took the broth and I incorporated it in with some spaghetti added a little dash of pepper and some Parmesan cheese and ate it that way. Another thing you could probably do now, keep in mind, this also comes in a family size serving. There is a bigger one. So if you really wanted to, if you stop and think about it, you could possibly make vegetables and the fixings to go with the pot roast because this is strictly the, the broth and the meat. But I'm sure if you think about it, you could easily take the vegetables, the carrots, the potatoes, everything that's involved in a pot roast and do that up and somehow incorporate that in within it. And let me just say that it will save you 85% of the time in which it would normally take to do a regular pot roast. On the turkey breast and gravy, earlier today for lunch, Yes, I'm coming back to pasta, but it doesn't have to necessarily be pasta. Also, with the beef roast uh, broth, if you don't want to put it over pasta, even the, uh, the gravy from the turkey, you could just as easily put the gravy from the turkey or that, say, over mashed potatoes, or you could even um, put it over rice. You know, that's um, something you could do with it. Um, or another one that's really good that I haven't made in a while that I do enjoy is um, you could perhaps make a shepherd's pie with, I'm thinking, either one of those. I do like both brown or beef gravy, and I like turkey gravy, but for some reason, I tend to favor the turkey gravy a little bit more. Don't know why. I always have. I know that I certainly like the turkey gravy over mashed potatoes. I know that it works extremely well. So um, I'm hoping that a few of you out there will agree with me on that. But then again, like I said, I really don't have an actual personal preference when it comes to gravy. You know, I can use any of it. It doesn't um, really matter. The other one that I have, I have not opened it yet. Um, I may do a product review on it another time, as I do have, um, made by Hormel, I have the beef tips, and I will find out how good that is. And again, most likely you can do the same thing with the um, leftover of that as you would, say, the beef roast. Not much difference except for maybe the cut of meat. So um, anyway, that's just, um, you know, a few ideas that you could put together. Um, you know, I'm sure there's other things out there that you could take the gravy and the meat and incorporate it into um, mixing it in with something else. Uh, again, the possibilities are endless. Um, 
I'm pretty sure if you want, this is just a thought out loud. Well, that the shepherd's pie has got hamburger meat in it, but I'm sure if you wanted to do a separate hamburger meat or ground turkey by itself, I'm pretty sure you could take the brown gravy or the beef gravy that's in here and add it in and you could probably make something else out of it. Um, but again, you know, the possibilities are endless when it comes to um, leftovers. I myself on each one of these was able to eat off of them about three times. So the cost of this in the store is about $7. So if you take three times into seven, um, let's see, that would be like, um, what, like 230 or a little better per serving. So I figure it's not all that bad. Um, but you guys, if you want, if please feel free, go ahead and leave me um, down in the comments, you know, if you want to attempt buying these items and try them. They're, I can tell you these are really good. There's a couple of others I would like to try. There is a meatloaf uh, that I would like to try just to see. I myself know how to make meatloaf from scratch, but I'd be willing to see just how well Hormel tends to do in that department. I've never had it before, but I may purchase that next go around. So anyway, leave me some comments down below, um, you know, if you want to try it or if you can think of some other things you could do with this. And um, I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, be on the lookout um, on Thursday at 4 p.m. I have another upload going up. Um, there's no telling what the topic is, so definitely be on the lookout for that. And um, I hope the rest of you or all of you out there have a great, fabulous Tuesday, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.